Welcome to my video on how to remove conduit toolbars from Internet Explorer. Several people have come to me recently asking how to remove toolbars like the ones from Conduit from their Internet browsers. I've decided to put together a simple video on how to uninstall Conduit. If you want to read these instructions, visit the link below. Some of you might be asking what a Conduit toolbar is and why do companies make them. Basically, toolbars are a marketing tool that lets companies keep in touch with their customers. Conduit provides the software companies use to build their toolbars. When a toolbar is done right, it can be really useful. But if you aren't using the toolbar or don't even remember why you download in the first place, removing it is pretty straightforward. In this video, I've used a toolbar called Julia Designer. This is just one example of the thousands of Conduit powered toolbars out there. Ready? Let's begin. On your desktop, open the Windows Start menu. Click the control panel. In program, select uninstall a program. If this isn't visible you have a or you have a different version of Windows, you'll need to click programs and features first. Scroll until you locate the conduit toolbar. Once you double click on it, a window will pop up and ask if you would like to hide the toolbar or remove it. Choose remove the toolbar. There's another field that asks you whether you want to return to default settings. Normally, you would say yes, but I want to show those of you who aren't given this option with the toolbar they have what to do, so I'm not going to click on it. Okay, as you can see, the software has been successfully removed. Now I'm going to make sure that all the software has been removed, so I'm going back and I'm going to search for conduits. Okay, and I'm also going to search for the name of the toolbar that I removed. Okay, nothing there. That means the software has been removed from my computer. The next step, though, is to get rid of Conduit as your default search engine. So I'm going to open up Internet Explorer. I'm going to click on the gear icon, click Manage Add-ons, and then choose Search Providers. Now look for Conduit or some other search engine with the toolbar's name. I would personally suggest removing all search engines other than Google or Bing. If you can't remove this search engine, then disable it. Now choose a new default search engine. The final step in this process is to choose a new default homepage. From Internet Explorer, click the gears icon again, click Internet Options, choose the General tab, and change the address in the home page box to what you want for your home page. Now click apply. That's it, we're done. That's it, the toolbar has been removed. I hope you found this guide helpful. It might appear at first a little difficult. Um, if you still have problems with removing the toolbar, but you notice something wrong or missing in this guide, please let me know. My email is jennifersimpson532 at gmail.com. Thank you.